this is the lesson for uh, kinematics which we would uh, understand displacement time graph for non-uniform uh, non velocity uh, this is a continuation of the previous lesson which we just only discussed the basic concept of a uh, displacement time graph so these are the learning objectives so we'll be focusing on uh, non-uniform velocity this time around so some prior knowledge um, you would need to know the basic displacement time graph concepts uh, covered in my previous uh, lesson so uh, this time around you also need that to know that the gradient of a curve at a given point is its tangent at that point so this was from last lesson uh, which we will try to see uh, that displacement time graph we can actually break them down into a different section to analyze what is happening so though the object has different velocity at different timings its motion can be broken down into several sections and analyzed so from uh, from 0 to 4 you find that uh, it is a straight line graph which is having a gradient of a uh, value of 2.5 so it means that it is actually moving at a velocity of uh, 0.25 meters square uh, meters per second and then with the displacement of a velocity of uh, 10 meters so from 4 to 10 it is a flat line so it means that the object remains stationary at 10 meters and the last part from 10 to 12 it is a, a negative gradient okay having a, a gradient value of negative 5 so it means that it is moving left okay left with the speed of 5 meters per second and end up at the original point because the displacement right here is 0 uh, this is also another one okay uh, which we see that uh, it is actually all straight line okay and one flat line so again you just only need to uh, break them down into three portion in this case uh, 0 to 5 5 to 10 and 10 to 15 so from 0 to 5 as I mentioned it is uh, just a straight line in this case if you do a calculation of gradient 15 divided by 5 um, it is uh, actually moving at 3 meters per second so after 5 seconds later it will reach a displacement of 15 meters then from 5 to 10 is a straight line graph with a gradient of 1 okay um, so 20 so it moves of distance of 5 meters and divided by another 5 seconds so it, it is uh, having a speed of a uh, velocity of 1 meter per second and it reaches 20 meter after t when t equals 10 seconds and the last part is uh, simple is a flat line so the object stationary at the displacement of uh, 20 meters so uh, in this case of course the speed is 0 meters per second but of course what, I, what I'm trying to help you to see is that taken as a whole we can deduce that the object is slowing down as the initially is 3 then it becomes 1 meter per second then it becomes 0 meter per, 0 meter per second which is stop so uh, another way to visually see that uh, this is happening is to look at the gradient of the gradient of the displacement time graph and it becomes more and more gentle okay more and more gentle or flat so uh, we have another uh, case in this case um, it is you can apply the same uh, way okay by looking at the gradient of the displacement graph at this three interval you should notice that the gradient ha is becoming steeper and steeper it means that the value of the gradient becomes bigger and which means that the velocity is actually becoming higher so we can deduce that the object is speeding up okay is speeding up just by looking at this graph but of course with true calculation we can see that the velocity is actually increasing from one meter per second to two meter per second to in this case five meters per second okay so I leave you to uh, calculate the gradient of each section but the point is to understand that by looking at the gradient itself how it progresses we can actually know what is the object uh, how is the object traveling so um, so in our previous example though the objects actually change their velocity at a certain time but the velocity actually remains the same in between the changes so uh, it is because it's a straight line graph so if it's a straight line uh, graph or displacement time graph it's having a uniform velocity so, which means that the velocity is unchanged throughout which was uh, 3 meters per second and this is 1 meter per second and this of course is 0 meters per second okay in, so it changes at a point this point but it did not change in between 
Um, so of course, the next step is that then how will a displacement time graph look like if the object is changing its velocity constantly throughout? That means that uh, from z even from zero to five meters per uh, five second, it is it is always changing. It didn't remain at three; it's always changing. Okay, so this is the next portion that we like to explore. So we'll use the example of a car slowing down as ex uh, as illustration to help you to understand. Okay, so find that this is a car, and I've really set it to so that it slows down. Uh, so as you can see, and it slows down. So you see that the uh, at a certain time it travel. Uh, a large distance as travel smaller distance smaller 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 so it means that it's slowing down so in this case how would the displacement graph uh, time graph look like it will look like a uh, this is actually a curve so same thing you find that it is a large distance a smaller distance a smaller distance smaller distance and eventually it comes to a stop this is the uh, graph Okay, and in this case, the for non-uniform velocity uh, for slowing down, the displacement time graph is a curve as shown. Um, why is this so? It is because the gradient of a curve is always changing. Okay, gradient of a curve is always changing, and therefore it's consistent with that. Since we know that velocity is the gradient of the displacement time graph, so in this case, the velocity is always changing too. So. In this case, uh, the gradient is becoming flatter and flatter, so the velocity is getting slower and slower. What do I mean by flatter and flatter? You notice that at this point, okay, the gradient of at uh, the gradient at time equals to one, you find that the uh, the gradient is uh, this line. At time equals to three, the gradient is actually flatter, and time equals to five, is is actually flat, completely flat. So you compare these three gradient one. Uh, at 1, 3, and 5, you notice that of course it is actually the gradient is actually getting smaller and smaller. So it actually represents uh, that the s velocity, the, the sky is slowing down. So, uh, of course, the opposite is what about an object that's moving, always moving faster and faster? So, if you apply the similar line of thought, since the velocity will be higher and higher, the gradient of the displacement graph should be steeper and steeper. And of course, it will also be a curve that reflects that velocity is always changing to become higher and higher. So if you use the car speeding up as an example, okay, so I make some adjustments, uh, I'll just reset. And I'll use uh, acceleration. Okay, if you do an observation, you will go slow and you come faster and faster and faster and so on okay so this is what it meant so if you look at the uh, displacement time graph it should look something like this okay it become faster and faster it's also a curve in fact it looks uh, slightly uh, or almost like a reflection of the previous one so this is the graph similar to the like I mentioned before similar to the car slowing down graph the gradient is always changing it's because it's a curve in this case the gradient becomes steeper and steeper and steeper so it means that the velocity of the car is speeding up so so it's flat initially and then it becomes steeper and becomes steeper so right now I would just like you to uh, give some practice um, to understand by you by looking at this placement time graph you should be able to deduce what is the object doing so I would like you to describe the motion of the object from uh, time equals 0 to time equals 4 based on this so this is a curve okay so just some guiding questions for you ask yourself which question is the object traveling is it in a positive direction or is it in a negative direction and in order for, uh, for you to answer this so you just ask yourself what is the starting and ending displacement of this object. Okay, starting and ending. So another uh, question that you need to ask yourself in order to describe the motion is the object speeding up or slowing down, or is it traveling at the same speed? Okay, so and it, what you need to do is to compare the gradient of the graph when it's starting and it's ending. So is it getting steeper or gentler? 
so with that then you should be able to uh, have at least in your mind be able to understand what is the object uh, what's the object in motion so another uh, example this is another practice example so same thing from time equals 0 to 4 seconds these are the guiding questions positive exactly the same okay so these are the uh, things that I use okay uh, before we end off uh, of course I'll just show you the answer to the previous two okay for a graph that looks like this okay this is the moving man so he's as he's starting at a position of 8 and this would be what would happen okay I hope that you notice that the man is actually slowing down okay I'll show just play it one more back in time okay so this is what's happened the other graph he's actually running faster and faster okay so that's all for uh, today's lesson